Good morning, everybody. It's late morning, February 12, 2018. I'm in Pacifica, California. I'm hiking up the old Chop Farm Trail in the San Pedro Valley Park in the deep valley of Pacifica, California, Linamar Valley. And we're going to be heading up Brooks Creek Trail, Old Trout Farm Trail, and hook up to the Montera Mountain Trail. So, I'm going to get started. Nice, even, slow pace, because there's going to be some all steadily climbing uphill here. And elevation gain to the top, maybe 2,500 feet. Coastal hills, about 15 miles south of San Francisco. And the eucalyptus groves. Monterey cypress. And a few Monterey pines. It's a cool day in February, like I say. And I don't expect it to be any more than 56 degrees today. Shady here. And as I get up on the upper part of the trail, we'll be hitting some sun. This is not too far, probably about a quarter mile from the hazelnut trail, which took me to some interesting spots where I actually saw some bipedal structure. Axes, leaners, hangers, and actually a distant shot of a mama squatch with her baby. That was a surprise in my life. I never would have thought they'd be here, which is so close to civilization. But the bottom line is, be ready for anything. When you're hiking with Central California bipedal trails, anything is possible. But we're not for now. Well, I made it through the first quarter mile of my uphill. As you can see, steady incline on the other side of the valley, that little valley where the hazelnut trail goes to the top. I found something kind of interesting I passed by as I was walking. I got to kind of go back here a few steps to look at this. Now, a bunch of broken limbs here. 
as you can see they came off of this Monterey pine it's all deadwood branches but to me they don't look like they've been sawed by the rangers maintenance crew they look like they've been snapped who would have climbed up those trees to snap them that's my question to you happened to notice these baby redwood trees well may take a hundred years for it to get as high as these other trees maybe two but yes they do grow here in central California not the big ones but they grow here I'll see if I can spot a, an old growth here I think there's really only one in the whole park. These are all Bonnerae ponds here that were hit pretty heavy with the, the boring beetle disease about 30 years ago and just did a lot of damage to these trees. Some resisted them and recovered and some just had to be cut down. Got a, tree, a, a hawk over, I mean a crow overhead making this noise maybe doing a little warning signal for the for their bipedal friends that I got a hiker coming up the trail lots of eucalyptus trees lots of groves all great habitat for habitat for eucalyptus because rare freeze really does a freeze here and never snows at all not in the lowlands of California. You see a, a fallen uke down there, down that little valley. It completely crosses over the creek and to the other side, to the other trail. That would be Hazelnut Trail.
puedo subir a... I think these are gala apples. They are sweet. Here's where I come to the split in the road to the old trout farm trail. There used to be tanks with uh, trout spawn, spawning, I mean, uh, row, I'm not sure how to say them. Baby, baby trout were being harvested and set into the streams in California, especially here at the Calero Creek Trail, I mean, uh, Creek. And anyway, there was a heavy rainfall in 1982 and it flooded all the uh, tanks for trout and they, a lot of them had died and they were able to retrieve the other ones but they had to close the trout farm. But the trail is still here. This is the loop. It's about a mile and a half loop. Today I'm going to go up the uh, the Bridge Creek Trail which goes to the Montera Creek Trail. The Montera Mountain Trail. Anyway, as you can see, a narrow little trail takes you alongside the easy switchbacks shaded, mostly shaded, half sunny, where the dukes give good shade. Sometimes it can get pretty warm back here, but we're in the winter now, so it's cool. But we did go through the past week of weather in the 70s. It was like a fall spring. That usually happens every year, but we're back to normal now. The only thing not normal, it's another drought year, it's normal, but I would have figured after last year's deluge, we would have had maybe two or three years in a row. And then before it goes back to the drought. But unless we get rain in March or April, early May, it's gonna be a real, a real thumbs down for water resources. But I think we have enough to get through the next year or two with the amount of rain we had last year. But you know, the government is going to raise the prices of water no matter what. We're not for now. Well, well, you can see I ran across my first X. <laughs> Interesting enough, it was a smaller tree that was knocked over to cross with a growing tree. So there are signs if you have a creative mind to see that there is some structure here. No mystery to me, but for those who don't believe, what can I say? Gotta get a picture of this.